Oh, thanks to Stu for those earlier races. I'll kick off my stint on this f first day of the final week of the season. The Grand Steeplechase de Paris over three mile and five furlong. It's a grade one, and we've got a good car at the top for David Hooley. Half share, Leon van Rensburg, Milton Damarel, Darren Thompson, National Apocalypse, Joshua Sullivan, Persian Gates, Derek Hinton, Target, Craig Beckwith, Telegraph Boss, John Morgan, The Uncle, Joshua Sullivan, Wizards Dust, Matt Cooper, Band of Outsiders, Leon van Rensburg, Fatima Whitbread, Paul Rhodes, Finding Alice, Martin Leedham, Cosmina, Cordial and Sarita Mata for David Robertson. You don't really often see David Robertson with the two bottom weights, but it's not two bottom weights, is it? Because he's not a handicap. Uh, there you go, first mistake of the week already. <laughs> As they head towards the first of the fences in this Grade 1 event. Not a handicap. And uh, Wizard's Dust has got the lead. As they race past the winning post, this is one of those strange courses where they Race in all different directions, it's difficult to know whether you're caught or going sometimes. They've just gone past the winning post this way, I'm pretty sure that from the end of the race they go past the winning post the other way. Stu's the expert on all these sort of things. They finally get to the first of the 24 fences. And they're all safely over them, over it. With Persian Gates for Derek Hinton in the lead. And Wizards Dust in second. He went right through that. Got away with it though. Uh, one or two others made a few mistakes, but they all ended up standing on their four feet with their jockeys still in their saddle. So Persian Gates then leads by best part of two lengths to Wizards Dust in second. The Uncle is in third. Then comes Band of Outsiders four. And Milton Damarel five. National Apocalypse is next on the inside of Telegraph Bush. And the first of the Greys is Finding Alice. This week's Whitbread winner as they get to the third. And they're all safely over that one as well. Good card, just the current back market. Oh, no such excitement on the jump as we've got in the flat at the moment for the championship as they get over the fourth way. It's pretty close. This championship in the uh, jumps has been sewn up for about six, seven weeks, I would think. And Joshua Sutherland absolutely miles in front of everybody else. And still determined to get every winner he can. The sign of a true champion, so I'm told. Anyway, Persian Gates is the leader. Went down to the water. Really tapped the water. And got away from it nicely. Wizards Dust is second. The Uncle is third. National the Apocalypse fourth. And then Band of Outsiders and Milton Damarel. Savita Matter is after that one. And Cosmina Cordial. Let's take it over the sixth. They're all safe. We have a good card, the one who's just struggling a little bit towards the back at the moment. There's a long way to go yet. And Persian Gates. He's in the lead by six lengths to Wizards Dust and National Apocalypse. Stable companion, the Uncle, is alongside that one as they get over the seventh. And there's a fall of it. It's Milton Damarel that's gone. So Milton Damarel is out. As I said over on the flat, most of these horses we won't be seeing again after. This week, but on the jump side of things, more do come back than they do on the flat, so maybe one or two of these will see back. One or two of them already in there. Second, or in the case of Finding Alice, third season already, as they get to the ninth. I get over that one nicely. Not sure when the next season is going to be. No mention has been made of it yet, so whether there'll even be one, we don't know. But it's Persian Gates in front as they get to the tenth. Which they're all safely over. Usually got a date in mind before the season finishes and everybody disappears. Oh, I don't think we're going to be in that position this season, the way things are going. We're all safely over that next one, unless something's happened in the last day or two that I don't know about. I've not seen the forums the last day or so. But it's Persian Gates in front from the Uncle and National Apocalypse. In Band of Outsiders and Target, Wizards Dust is after that as they get over the 12th. Safely over the 12th. Just the one departee so far, Norton Damarel. And it's Persian Gates who's still clearing the lead, but probably only by four now, maybe five. And the National Apocalypse and the Uncle together with Band of Outsiders next, and then Wizards Dust, and Telegraph Bush, and then Savita Matter. Targets after that one. Cosmina Cordial and Finding Alistair 2 graze together as they get over the 13th. Oh, what is it falling there with Cosmina Cordial a crashing fall there. That one is now out of the race as well. As 
they get to the 14th and they're all safely over the 14th with Persian Gate in the lead from National Apocalypse and the Uncle and Band of Outsiders and Savita Mata and gap to the rest of them are headed by Wizard's Dust and the only remaining grey finding Alice Telegraph bushes after that one I've only got 10 furlongs to go but they've still got plenty of jumps to take this is the water again and once again the leader really leapt over that leads by four the uncle the band of outsiders and national apocalypse three in a line here in second then Savita Mata one that's made significant progress for the back is good card that one was last a minute ago and now it's ahead of the chasing pack also moving through nicely is half sheer that's him a whip red widest on the tracks not as much of a mention so far either and they're racing down towards the final mile then down the Grand Steeple Jace de Parry and they get over the 17th and they're all safely over that one with Persian Gates in the lead from Savita Mata who's now gone second and then the uncle is third they get over the 18th good jump there by the Leon Van Rensburg horse band of outsiders that next one comes up really quickly and they get over it well they're racing down towards the next end. Persian Gates in the lead. Savita Mata second. The Uncle third. Then Band of Outsiders is fourth. National Apocalypse finding Alice and Harshier. And now starting to creep into it. Then comes Good Card and Telegraph Bush. Fatima Whitbreads after that one. Then Target Wizards Dust has now dropped away as they get to this ditch. And over that one they go. That was a 20. Then finding Alice is down. Last week's heroine's gone. So he's not going to win again today. And Persian Gates is in front from Savita Mata in second. Then comes the Uncle in third as they get to this next ditch. That's a 20. 21st, just three more to take then there and it's Persian Gates in the lead from the Uncle in second, Savita Mata is in third, then after that one come the Leon Van Rensburg pair, half share and Band of Outsiders, Target is still trying to run on, so too is Fatima Whitbread and Good Card as they get over the third from home and it's Persian Gates who's been clear all the way from half share who's now burst through in a second also coming through nicely now on the outside of the leading group is Target but it's Persian Gates past the three pole with just two more fences to take in the straight and it's Persian Gates in front from half share and the uncle Savita Mata trying to run back on again Target is after that one then comes National Apocalypse, Fatima Whitbread next over the second last thing, oh, the leader made a mistake and he's now joined by half share half share comes up alongside Persian Gates and half share and Persian Gates from in third place Target then comes National Apocalypse, they're at the final fence and over it they go, Persian Gates and half share and a ding dong up the hill it's Persian Gates in the lead a fur on a go Persian Gates and half share half share now starts to assert and takes it up half share in the lead but here comes Target and Savita Mata but it's going to be half share I think he's going to hold on here comes Target though with one last lunge it's half share and Target half share leads the line and gets it just in time Target is second National Apocalypse third then more Persian Gates and Savita Mata Wizards dust was pulled up and like Craig Beckwith's target was going to get up and hit the target but half share just hung on didn't want to give up a half share of his win in a dead heat and holds on so half share wins it for Leon Van Rensburg target second for Craig Beckwith that would have been getting a ton of weight in a handicap so a really big race run by that one National Apocalypse Joshua Sutton was third Savita Mata David Ross and fourth and long time leader Persian Gates for Derek Hinton was fifth